All right, welcome back, everybody. So at this point, we have a functioning registration system and also a, a very simplified route middleware implementation that we worked on in the last video. So now I'd like to build the login form, but actually real quick before we get to that, I think we need to return to the concept of uh, password security and hashing. So let's get going. Now I've cleared out our users table. So why don't we once again register Joe at joe.com. All right. And yeah, at the moment, the only feedback I have that we are signed in is this, uh, this stock photo that we've seen the whole series. Uh, but sure enough, if I switch to table plus and refresh, yeah, I can see that Joe has an account. So why don't we do this uh, back to Firefox? Why don't we add just a little more feedback? Uh, maybe the homepage says hello, and then the person's name, or in this case, their email address. All right, that's easy enough. Scroll down to the home view. And uh, excuse me, I will have it say hello. And then let's look in the session for our user and then grab their email address. Otherwise, if we don't have a signed in user, we can default to guest. Okay, and I think that should do the trick. Now we see hello, Joe at show.com. Okay, great. So yeah, now if I switch back to table plus once again, all right, and yeah, here we can see that we're storing Joe's password in clear text. And I know I've mentioned this a couple times, but I'm gonna do it again. Never, ever, 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 10 times, never store uh, passwords in clear text. It's a horrible practice and a significant security concern. I mean, think about it. How many times in the last half decade have you read about a big company experiencing some kind of database breach, right? Well, when that happens, the attackers gain access to a user's table. That includes your email address and your actual password that they can then use for, I don't know, financial institutions to sign into your Facebook account, uh, whatever they want to do there. It is a horrible practice. So we need to fix this right now. I'm going to delete that account entirely and I'll switch back to PHP Storm. And let's do this. Let's go into our registration controller store. So this is where we submit the form. And yeah, if we scroll down, we validate. It's still a little messy here. We need to clean it up a little later. Uh, but yeah, right down here, I even added a little note in the source code, never store. So I'm going to say it 11 times, it seems. All right. So it sounds like when I insert the user's password into the database, I need to hash it. And luckily, PHP makes this pretty darn easy. I can wrap this in a call to password hash. And if I click through here to the signature, yeah, so we're going to provide it as the first argument, the user's password, and then as the second argument, uh, which algorithm, which password hashing algorithm we want to use. Uh, at the time of this recording, uh, you don't even need to know what it is, but it's called bcrypt, and it's incredibly secure. So it also happens to be the default. So as the second argument, we can reference a constant of password bcrypt. Or again, if we did password default uh, at the time of this recording, that default is bcrypt. So uh, just keep in mind, if you choose this option, maybe in five years, it will change. So if you want to force bcrypt, uh, you can use it like this. Otherwise, you can stick with the default. All right. I know I want bcrypt, so I will choose that algorithm. And this is really all we need to do. Let's give it another shot. Uh, refresh. Yeah. One more time, this is so annoying, but I have to delete the cookie, which removes the reference to the session so that when I refresh, we start from scratch. And yeah, now let's reference or, or register Joe2. I'll provide a password. All right, let's give it a shot. Back to table plus and refresh. And yeah, this is what I want to see. Not your actual password stored in clear text, but instead a hash of that password. And yeah, now in the future, if your database is breached, well, yeah, they will gain access to your email address, but that password, even if they want to crack it, it's going to be incredibly difficult and time consuming, uh, if not impossible, though never say never, very, 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 very 10 times, very uh, difficult to crack the password. And yeah, as a rule of thumb, this should be how you deal with passwords for every user registration system you ever build for your entire career.